hi hello uh, good morning <clears throat> and uh, this is our <clears throat> second class uh, that is about the geographical thought the second unit <clears throat> that uh, contribution of different scholars that scholars from greece scholars from arabia then scholars from rome then scholars from india that geographers from different parts of the world and three that we are we were uh, we are discussing about the contribution by the greek geographers and we have discussed uh, the introductory session and this is the second video we people are uh, watching uh, kindly and regularly watch the videos regularly attend the assessment that will help you to build good knowledge good base in knowledge uh, in the field of geography or spatial science remember we people are studying about the spatial process spatial uh, pattern and spatial behavior geographical process geographical pattern and geographical behavior uh, we geographers or cartographers we deals with these kinds of things uh, you can ask your doubts fine this is the second video hope you people uh, enjoyed the first video uh, definitely you you can always ask different questions uh, that will uh build your uh, knowledge base information base definitely that uh, uh, different classes that is really helpful for getting uh, engaged with the geography right and uh, now we are discussing about the greek scholarship and the first video oh, that was that that is that was over and uh, we were uh, introduced with the two important scholars Uh, that is an axiomanto and uh, uh, that uh, who's that fails fine and uh, in that introductory session we have said so many things and uh, let us start today's lesson and in the today's lesson we people are discussing about two important scholars from greece that is hecatius and one is herodotus and uh, the important thing the hecatius is the father of geography and herodotus he is the father of history right of course he is the father of history but uh, he contributed uh, towards geography also and you can see that map that is map the first map uh, that produced by the uh, what uh, produced by the anaximander great scholar from uh, greece so uh, kindly and uh, kindly try to understand the concepts that i am communicating through the lessons video lessons so uh, i said that uh, there are different concepts uh, in different periods so uh, now we are discussing about the evolution of geography in ancient period and contribution of greeks that part 2 so welcome to my presentation uh okay so that uh, that we already discussed greek culture and scholarship span thousands of years greek literature hana has an unbroken history of nearly 3000 years reflects a gradual transition from theoretical to practical cartography from idealized concept of the shape of the known world and primata uh, to map projections and coordinate geometry Uh, reconstructions a plenty so these things are we already discussed and you remember this map hope you people will remember that map so hecatius the father of he is the father of uh, geography and uh, i have given a clarification on last video uh, the credit of originating the literary tradition goes to hecatius and we have discussed two things that is mathematical tradition and literary tradition Uh, to hecatius he was a greek scholar of 6th century bc bc stands for before christ from miletus the center of learning in those days fine right? that great civilization he was a <coughs> pioneer scholar and one of the earliest writer of greek prose prose means that malayalam word gedyam he was the first greek scholar to classify the information about the Uh, then known world and brought to the militus 
Miletus is a place in, uh, I think it is in Greece. His work is known as Just Spirits. Always remember this question will always ask in the UGC net, net also. Just Spirits or description of the earth. It was the first systematic description of the then known world that was that was published published by the end of 6th century BC before Christ. Uh, his work, so what is his uh, famous work of Hecatius that is known as just Pirates, G E S P R I O D S. So that meaning that is a description of the earth. Right? You know that, that terminology, geo and graphia. Just Pirates describes the places place in the vicinity of Mediterranean Sea, which was called the purplus, means coastal area. Hecatius divided his book Just Pirates into two parts. Part A dealing with geographical information about Europe and part B dealing with Libya. Libya means, uh, what he means that Libya means today's Africa. The, this book is a blend of the literary tradition and the topographical ecological tradition. So it is a known work, this just periods is the known work uh, in that time that mentioning about topography, different kinds of things. See, this are uh, uh, that uh, a book about earth. A blend of literary tradition, the topographical, ecological traditions. Acacius, for the first time, gave two approaches to approaches for the study of geography. One is nomothetic or law-making approach that uh, uh, making certain theories, laws. Then ideographic approach that descriptive approach that uh, literary type of that literature type of work. Acacius prepared the world map, but it was based on the map of Anaximander. See, we have uh, given that map. He had just modified it. Uh, what is that map? See, this map. See, see the difference. This is the map by Anaximander, and this is the map uh, that uh, provided by the Acacius. Fine. Uh, okay, let us continue. Uh, he divided, uh, that, uh, modified it. He divided into two parts by drawing a line passing through uh, Hellas, Hellas Pond, the Caspian Sea and Kasakas Mountains. The northern part is named as Europa and southern part of Libya that include Africa and Asia. So that is the map part. Uh, yes, that uh, Europa. What is that? Yes, that is Europa. Then Libya, that part of Africa, and those kinds of things he included in that map. So that is all about Hecatius. Not all about Hecatius. That is a brief description about Hecatius. You have see, remember it is a DSC course. You have to refer it yourself. Uh, searching different materials available in the net, uh, searching in our library, and you have to build your own knowledge base. Not just my class, you have to refer more material, more resources. And uh, definitely I will provide certain materials and uh, uh, that kinds of thing. But you have to refer more, more things, fine. So okay, let us continue. Next one is Herodotus. I already said the father of history. He's also known as, uh, yes, the father of history. Herodotus was an outstanding Greek scholar of the fifth century BC. There is no exaggeration in the statement to say that Herodotus was the father of history. He is credited with the idea, the history must be treated geographically and all geography must be treated historically. The connection between history and geography. Right? Uh, so he is credited. See, you try to remember this sentence, this sentence that uh, most of the exams, this sentence, the, they will ask about who said this sentence that the history must be treated geographically and all geography must be treated historically. He is also identified as the father of ethnography as, as he provided a vivid portrayal of cultural traits of people who were unknown to Greeks. His works were based on his own observation during his travels. He contributed both in physical and human geography. Herodotus came up with the concept that 
Egypt is the gift of the uh, river. Egypt is the gift of the river where he emphasized that uh, silt and mud river led to the development of delta. Uh, that Egypt is the gift of Nile river. Fine. You may be heard about that sentence. Egypt is the gift of the Nile river. That uh, sentence, that, uh, that kind of quotation that made by the uh, Herodotus, where he emphasized that the silt and mud, mud of river led to the development of delta. It was he who, for the first time, gave concept that winds move from cold to hot places. You will learn this concept uh, that uh, wind move from high pressure to low pressure in the climatology paper. Right? And you, maybe you people already learned the physical geography in that uh, plus one and plus two. Right? Uh, he attempted to measure the age of the earth on the basis of the rate of sedimentation and estimated that one foot of sediment is formed in 880 years, taking the total sediment strata of 180 kilometers thick. Herodotus calculated the age of the earth as uh, 440 million years when he exact age of the earth is 4.6 billion years. So that is the, it is the map of, it's not the map of the Herodotus. Herodotus never made any map and uh, I have, I was searching though uh, whether he made any map or no, just he didn't made any map. He prepared uh, that just buried that book and certain statements. So that is that is the modification. You can see that the difference. Anaximander map, uh, the map by Anaximander and Acacius, and uh, you remember this uh, gnomon. So that is all about today's video. You can always ask your doubts different doubts and i will uh, i will if i know the answer instantly then i will give you answer uh, that uh, that that time itself else if i don't know the answer i will refer some book or some other material and i will give you and i don't have if i don't know the answer i will say, i will tell i don't know fine i don't know then i will refer some material and i'll give you the answer so you can always ask your doubts uh, regularly watch the videos, attend the assessment regularly. So have a good day. Thank you. Thank you for watching my lesson. Good day. Once more. Good day. Thank you.